Hi and welcome to my channel. Wouldn't you like to know how you can become a master at being productive by ensuring that you create these habits in the next 30 days? Is this something that you are struggling with being productive every day when you're at work, for example? Now, do listen further to this video because in this video, I'm going to be discussing how you can become more productive by mastering your skills, by mastering your habits of your daily work life, for example, or even your personal life. It doesn't have to be work life. So do join me. Let's begin. So you're struggling to really stay focused in your workplace. So why could that possibly be? There could be a lot of distractions. You've got your colleagues coming up to you, for example, and you're at the coffee machine or having a cup of tea or getting a glass of water, for example, and boom, you meet your colleague and you then start talking possibly for 45 minutes has gone by and then you've missed that important time of when you're actually fresh and you can focus. So what I would do is I would look at when I first get into the office, yes, arrive early so that you can get your tea, get your coffee before everyone starts getting into the coffee room and everyone starts mingling, for example, quickly get out of that office space, get to your desk. And then what you need to do is, and I'm going to talk you through about what I do to be productive. And I am part of the 5am club, which is uh, by Robin Sharma. He's a very amazing humanitarian known worldwide. And he specializes in, you know, world-class, how you can become your best self without the stress, for example. So, First of all, what I do in the morning is, like I said, I get up at 5 a.m. in the morning. I call this the power hour, which is by Robin Sharma. He calls it the power hour. And funny enough, I call mine the care power hour. And I did uh, from two years ago, for example, before I even knew about the 5 a.m. club, because I know that we need to have this soul time, this time for ourselves, where we pour into ourselves and to go deep into our souls, our spiritual needs, looking at our physical needs as well as our heart set, mindset, for example. So I get up at quarter to five and then I'm exercising five o'clock on the dot, for example, and I do high intensity for 20 minutes. I then at that time, you know, I've built up you know, a lot of sweat. So I'm, I'm drinking my water when I finish my exercise. I have a coffee as well. Like I've said in my previous video here as well about being the CEO uh, productive. So I'll put the link here for you to watch that video. But then at the 20 minutes past five, I then look at uh, meditation. So I try and do meditation for 20 minutes and that could be where I read my Bible, well not could, I read my Bible every day, for example, or I say a prayer every day. I also do some meditation as well. And this has really helped me to get my brain focused on productivity, what I've got to do for the day. So I then will then go into development where I will read about something or I will learn something and I'll be journaling what I plan to do for the day. So I will, like I say, I will block off 90 minutes each time and then I take a 10 minute break. I do another 90 minutes, then I do a 10 minute break. I then do another 90 minutes and I then do a 10 minute break. So during that time, I will work on the most difficult, hardest things to do first thing in the morning. I don't deal with trying to do difficult things later on in the day because that is me. You know, I like to do things first thing and I just like to get them out of the way so that it's done. Okay. So block off 90 minutes 
of your time, times that by three, that will bring you to about four and a half hours in your day where you've done the most important things like working on your business, what contracts, what revenue do you need to get in for the day? How are your invoices? Um, how can you increase your turnover, for example, but also what work that you need to do that's going to bring money in and do the work that is difficult to do that is going to bring money in for your business, for example. So by being productive in this way, it helps you to fulfill your task. And yes, life is a challenge, for example, but you do feel better in the end, once you've done the hard work first. Look, think about the butterfly. It's in a cocoon, right? For up to 21 days. And it's difficult, it's trying to, and it doesn't come out before because it won't be ready to fly. So if that butterfly was to burst out of its cocoon before it's ready and it tries to fly, it's gonna wither and its wings aren't formed. So it's not gonna be able to, to fly properly, right? So you're the same in that way and i'm trying to connect with you so that you understand the dynamics here is that you know it's just like another explanation i'll explain a great performer um who's now passed away kobe for example the basketball player played for lakers and he was you know when you see that shot that he takes and he gets it into the the nest net the basketball net that didn't take him five minutes to do that took years and years of practice for him to become the greatest at basketball for example you know to become that champion at that skill and it's like a lot of people think they see you do something and it takes quick to do and they think oh you know that didn't take you long but You've got to look at where that person started and that practice that they did in order to become that champion. And that's the same for you as the business owner, as the CEO. You've got to practice those daily skills. Just increase by 1% each day. You don't have to take on the whole world in one go, but you've got to practice every day. You can't just practice. It's like you go to the gym. You can't just practice going to the gym for once or twice or even for the week and then you give up because you're tired and then you get like oh well that didn't work i didn't get a flat stomach in that time frame or you know i haven't got my biceps i haven't built my muscle in the five days it takes time things take time to develop and to grow and to get the habit that takes time as well it's not going to just happen straight away so don't be hard on yourself. You want to increase by 1% each day because then in that year, you've increased by 365%, which is really good, right? So always look at yourself in that way. I'm going to give another explanation of, you know, a, a, when you're, you know, a mother who is pregnant, for example, and the child is in the womb and it's surrounded by water because it's protecting the child, for example, and the child is developing its flesh, its bones, its skin, its blood, its cells, and all of these things are being built in order for when that child is being born, then that child can then feed from its mother, for example, and then from that point, it will then start to sit up, it will open its eyes, it will move, it has to practice all of these things in order to get to adulthood. You don't just become an adult instantly. You've got to work at it. It's like with me, with my exercise. I didn't just suddenly, you know, exercise and then think, oh, you know, I've been doing this for two months. I'll stop now. I have to do it every day because if I stop, then I can put the weight back on. So the habit has to keep going. But I love what I do because I've been used to doing it for years so I actually enjoy it. If I don't, if I don't do it, I think, oh, I haven't done it. I need to do it, you know? So it's like I don't, I don't drink and I haven't done so for years, but that's my choice. It's a habit that I didn't want to, to have because there's good habits 
And then there's bad habits. It's going to stop you from growing. And I didn't want to stop myself from growing. I want to be the highest version of myself. And yeah, I make mistakes. I am not a guru. I'm not your guru. I'm not perfect. We are human beings. You know, we, we just have to try and do the best that we can do. And I want to be the best version of myself. So that's why I've created these daily habits. And with this daily habit, it's enabled me to be more productive in my business and be able to, to scan like the hawk who is up, observing things from high up and looking down to see what's going. You don't see the hawk on the floor looking up and watching what's going on. The hawk is actually up high, watching what's happening, see what prey that the hawk can go and get to feed, for example, okay? So you, as the business owner, need to look at creating habits, good habits, because you create those habits daily like that basketball player Kobe for example Kobe Bryant um, is passed away now but you know that basketball player he practiced those shots so that when he was at the game he just boom got it in there straight away what a problem it he made it look so easy right he was so competitive <laughs> some of the players didn't like it because he was just very high pressured even his coach he would pressure his coach you know he would be training from morning to tonight on you know getting the ball in the net so that he was a perfection you know and it takes time it takes years to get to that level it doesn't just instant you gotta practice and it takes years it's a compounding effect and your habit is a compounding effect that you have to practice daily so that eventually you're going to become world class. You're going to become a master at your field of what you do because you have studied it and you have looked at what works and you've looked at what doesn't work. Yes, you're going to fail. Just like with Kobe, you know, when he does those shots and he's missed, he's failed. But did he stop? No, he carried on until he got it right. He perfected it. You know, we're not perfect. We're human beings. And failure is not a bad thing. Failure is success because that is your growth. And when you feel pain, when you feel stress, you got to look at what the opportunities are here for you. Because that is your growth. It's your growth for you to grow and to develop. We don't want to be stagnant and stay as we are. We don't want to just not grow because we would not feel good within ourselves, right? So create those daily habits, you know, so that you can transform into that beautiful butterfly that is come out of the cocoon because its wings are nicely formed. But in order to be in that cocoon, it's had to go through pain and struggle. And that is all part of growth. It's not a bad thing to feel the stress from growing in your business because that shows that you are developing. It's like when you go to university and you're studying and you're taking that exam You've studied in advance so that when you take that exam, you pass. Yeah, so yes, it is painful, but you've got to create these daily habits. You've got to create your journals. You've got to create your schedule of what you're going to do Monday to Friday and do evaluations of what you've done for the week. Tick them off each day so that you can see. And then when you've done something, like when you've done your 90 minute block and you've done something, you've achieved something really good, then stop, pause, think about what you've just done and then congratulate yourself for doing that. Say, well done. Now I'm gonna do the next thing. 
or maybe you're continuing on. So each time you're working through your workload that you've got to do as the CEO, because you are the leader. Although your team members are also leaders, they should be the leaders of their own work, for example. So I just want to say, do like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. And I hope that you've enjoyed today's training and look for the next video here or here somewhere. And what I want you to do is to watch them so that you can learn about your daily habits and how they can really improve your life by having these habits that are going to create fulfillment and enjoyment for you in your life. So I hope that you've enjoyed today's training. I've really enjoyed speaking with you. Like I said, do like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next video. Have a blessed day, everyone. Thank you. Goodbye.